during the blizzard of 93. Uh, on that morning at 6.58 a.m., we got toned out to a working structure fire. As we went in, I was the nozzle man, and I was trying to hit the fire. Mike taps me on the shoulder, and he's screaming, we've got a problem, and I turn back to look at him. And I said, what? And he points up, and about that time, the, the whole ceiling, roof, everything collapsed in on top of us. We got up, we backed out, uh, we turned and went to make another interior attack. We went in the front door and the ceiling come down on top of us again. We were able to back out and neither one of us was entangled in one single wire. I turned to uh, Mike and I said, we're not supposed to be in here. And uh, we was looking at each other and then the whole roof collapsed in. You know, it makes you start to think, you know, I've got a wife, I've got two small daughters and what about them? you know, if you didn't come back out. Growing up, my grandfather, you know, he instilled in me uh, a good work value, same as my dad. Uh, you know, always have pride in what you do. They would always go out of their way to help somebody. And I think that we're all given a gift because not everybody has the will to run into a burning building that people with common sense are running out of. You know, all these guys will do anything to help you any way they can. And, you know, sometimes when we go out here, it's a total stranger that we're going to meet, and we may never meet them again, but we made a difference in their life for that short moment. That's the gratification that we get out of it. I have a tremendous job with Meritor. Uh, I started there uh, going on 32 years now. Anything from hand welding to a robotic program, I take care of it. We're always checking after each other and confirming that everything is uh, compliant, it's working the way it's supposed to. But the most important thing is, you're gonna find that the people over there making these have so much pride in what they do. They're gonna make sure that the guy before them is giving them a good quality part and they're gonna give the next guy a good quality part as they pass through the line. It was about seven o'clock Sunday night. November the 5th. I was in the family room and one of the dogs started banging on the door. The fire had already started and I opened the door and boom, there it was. When I realized it was out of control, there was nothing I could do, uh, we went to the neighbors across the street and waited for the fire department. When you realize that the very axle that you had hands on in making and it brought the fire department, brought water, skilled firemen to your house to help you. You know, you, you look at it a lot different. We put a ton of pride into everything we do because we want to make it right the first time when it goes out. I mean, that's what we're driving after. We want to be able to make it good enough that we're willing to put our name on it and send it out the door for somebody to use. 